Okay, I'm going to go ahead and draw ISO line number one again, but this time I'm going to be using simply the line tool and working mainly from the front view. So going back to my ISO line one drawing, what I'm going to be doing is actually just drawing this front view shape and then actually push pulling this back. So once again, we have an object that's two and a half inches tall, as you can see here. This is a length of one, which is telling us that there. This is also a length of one. This is once again a height of two and a half. And we know that this is four inches long because of the number here. We also know that this here, we do some simple math, subtraction that is, we know take away one and one from four. We know that this is a length of two. And we can see from the measurements that these are one and a quarter and one and a quarter. So once again, four inches long, two and a half inches tall, one inch, one and a quarter, two inches, one and a quarter, and a length of one. So let's go ahead and jump the sketch up. Uh, once again, a few tools you want to have available are these tools here. This is the view menu if that's not turned on. Under view, toolbars, make sure there's a check mark next to views. And sometimes it's nice to have what's called the large tool set turned on, which are, may already be on. If you can see the protractor, once again, you have the large tool set turned on, and that's under view, toolbars, just make sure large tool set is also selected. Most of these features are probably already turned on. So I'm going to go ahead and select front view from my views menu. And I'm actually going to use what's called the hand tool, or pan. I'm going to hit H on my keyboard. I'm going to kind of just move this down a little bit. And I'm going to hit L for line tool. And I'm going to go ahead and click here at the origin. I'm just going to click one time with my line tool. So single click, release your mouse. I'm going to move along this red line here, which is the x-axis. I'm going to type in 4. I'm going to hit enter. And sometimes you won't see a line appear because it's right on top of the red axis. But it's, there's actually a line there. So just move vertically. When you see blue, you're moving perfectly vertical. I'm going to type in 2.5. I'm going to go ahead and move my mouse to the left. Let me just zoom in here so we can really see what's happening. I'm going to move my mouse to the left, and if you recall, this is a length of one. I'm going to move down. This was a height of 1.25. I'm going to move over to the left. This was a length of two, and you can see it's a red line, which means I'm perfectly horizontal. And I can move up, and here's a nice feature in, in SketchUp. Without even having to type in 1 and 1 fourth, I can just touch this corner. Don't click on it, just touch it, move away from it. And you'll see that SketchUp automatically finds the correct height for you. Click again, and then click one last time right here on the blue axis. Come right back to the origin. So basically, we are back where we started. I'm going to go ahead and hold down the wheel on my mouse, click and hold it down, or I can use the O for orbit tool, either or. A little bit of a rotation there, a little bit of an orbit. Once again, P for push-pull. I'm going to click once, release my mouse, move away, whatever you do, don't go in this direction, go away from you. And the width is 1.5. Okay, like before, just make sure that you have your view in more of an isometric view, just like what you have on your paper. And if you need to, sometimes you can go to camera and select the zoom extents. That kind of fills the screen. Maybe use my roller on my mouse, just roll it a few times. Maybe zoom out just a little bit. Just make sure you have this set up the way we want it for your teacher to then check at a later time. Now the feature, or this, the way I did this, I drew the front view. You'll find that sometimes there's drawing for Rather than drawing the front view, maybe you start drawing the bottom of the object, maybe um, starting from simply a different view. But once again, using the line tool and then push pulling to get my to get my uh, thickness, that's one approach from just drawing a solid. Go ahead and save your work and move on to the next drawing.